Linux here with uh, my Linux mission. So I'm going to do this in hard mode. That means I'm not going to be doing any saves. So I switch off all the saves and I can no longer um, recover the game. So there's no point in me doing quick saves as I go through. See, cannot reload. So here's my uh, Linux craft sitting on the launch pad ready to um, launch. Uh, I'm going to be using Mechjib uh, automation for this uh, for this mission because uh, well it's hard enough not being able to do uh, quick saves. Here's what it looks like with my Kerbals inside. I've got a crew of three. I've got Val, I've got Bob and I've got um, Jebediah. Here's what it looks like Jebediah looking up at the sky ready to take off. And we power on, and we're on our way to the month with our Lunix uh, glider. You'll notice there at the top there's a launch escape system that actually works, and uh, I haven't fully tested it. Actually, uh, safely um, evacuates the Kerbals uh, in case of a launch failure allows them to land again safely but I'll show that in another video all right here we go just gonna warp forward fast um, to get up into orbit as quickly as we possibly can you can see our apoapsis increasing and you might have noticed that this is a three-stage booster um, it, it, a launch vehicle that is very similar to the Saturn V, because uh, that's what I imagine the US Air Force would have eventually come up with. And there goes the uh, first stage. Um, second stage powers on straight away and uh, accelerates the, uh, the craft. Third stage in the craft up into orbit. As you can see, that I'm using MechJeb's ascent gu uh, guidance. A few important things here. I uh, doing auto staging and I'm also limiting the acceleration to um, 22 meters per second squared. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, so uh, what we're doing here is rising up to um, a, an apoapsis height of 150 kilometers and at that stage the, uh, the engines will power down and the third stage in the uh, re-entry vehicle will glide up to the, um, the apoapsis, uh, ready for uh, trans-mun uh, injection. So we get rid of the launch escape vehicle and we're using some separatrons um, to eject away the third stage away from the second stage. Um, now you can see uh, the ascent guidance has created a, uh, a, a maneuver node here. So all I have to do here is just set the MUN as a target and use the maneuver, maneuver node editor to um, make an encounter. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is uh, configure this so that there is a, the craft will pass the MUN on a free return trajectory. And you can see that this is the green line here. Um, and I need the, uh, the periapsis at, uh, at Kerbin to be about 50 kilometres altitude in order to re-encounter re Kerbin. Okay, so we've got our manoeuvre node ready to go. So I'll just execute. Uh, yeah, it's all executing now. Uh, so all I really need to do is just hit auto warp and the craft will walk forward to the maneuver node <coughs> and uh, power up. Here it comes, there it is. And we're seeing uh, we've got a very big engine here. This isn't actually like the um, Saturn V's J2 engine, it's, uh, it's much bigger, but I really, really, really want to um, use this engine because. It, um, yeah, it just makes it a lot more fun to do these orbital injections because they don't take so long. 
they um, uh, okay so we can see now our apoapsis is increasing quite quickly now pretty soon we'll be encountering the mun I just turn the RCS off there so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't go a bit crazy when it just gets to the end of the burn it sometimes does that here it comes Apoapsis is rising, 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 and then and we have a little encounter. It just finishes off doing that burn. And it hasn't quite... Uh, I'll just turn RCS back on again. It hasn't quite done the encounter properly. So I'm going to just... I'm going to just use those thrusters there. You can see on the, on the back of the craft. I'm just going to use those thrusters to... Uh, adjust. You can see the uh, periapsis at the moon is about 100 kilometres, and uh, yep, we've got a perfect periapsis at Kerbin for the free return trajectory. Okay, staging now. And uh, yeah, looking good. So our third stage booster is gone. And we'll just uh, warp ahead. So our uh, our craft is on its way to the Mun with three Kerbals aboard. You can see that uh, this is a, a glider with a descent stage and an ascent stage. Okay, now we're now within the Mun's sphere of influence. So we'll just hone in on there, and we'll just use our manoeuvre planner to circularise at, uh, this time we'll circularise at a periapsis, create the, create the node, and in accordance with the idea that the US Air Force has that had that um, all the burns would be as simple as possible, um, we're just going to use this manoeuvre node to land directly onto the MUN. Uh, and you can see I've used land, landing guidance, that blue um, marker there, that's where I'm actually going to land. Uh, and it's a little bit different from the trajectory from the manoeuvre node because what's going to happen is the, the MUN is going to um, rotate underneath it as, as I warp forward. So now executing this, so the craft now gets into orientation, uh, ready for the burn, and uh, we warp forward down to the manoeuvre note. Okay, looking good. I've got plenty of delta V. You can see in the uh, in my heads up display that I've got tons of fuel. Uh, for this, so there's no problems. I'm just going to reorient there a little bit. Um, and now we have the burn. Wow, those engines are really loud. That was very loud. <laughs> I didn't realise that uh, when I use those engines, they uh, they drown out my voice. But anyway, who wants to listen to my voice anyway? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to walk forward. Um, just do a little bit of reorienting, just so that it's neat, and, and turn the RCS thrusters back on again. Okay, we're ready to walk forward. Ready for our landing. Just looking ahead there. I think we're going to land just on the other side of that crater ridge uh, in in front of us there. And I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the I'm going to use the landing guidance um, to automate the landing. Uh, it does a a really very accurate suicide burn. Um, 
and I think that's something that uh, we really need in order to save fuel and I'm pretty sure that's how the US Air Force would do it they would certainly be very keen to uh, ensure everything is nicely automated so here we go I'm gonna auto work forward with the landing guidance and it will automatically switch on the burn coming down for the landing it's nicely automated and the RCS thrusters are on as soon as I touch the ground there I'm going to turn SAS on and use the RCS thrusters to make sure that uh, I'm stable I can turn them off and as you can see the craft is quite stable sitting on the surface even though there's a little bit of a, a slope there uh, I had an action, action key to automate bringing out the, the uh, ladders so here we go uh, who shall I get I'll get uh, Val I think she's gonna EVA out and uh, uh, gonna go down the ladder I've got to press the right button to go down the ladder oh here we go yep I think it's S down we go and Val is gonna be the first US Air Force pilot to stand on the MUN okay gonna have to have a flag of course yeah let's plant a flag where are we where are... oh look it's a NASA flag it should be a US Air Force flag how stupid is that oh well never mind I'm not gonna fix it now <laughs> all right up the ladder again I'm not going to hang around here. I'm not going to bring the other Kerbals out. Obviously, they'd want to stand on the surface as well. But for the purposes of this um, video, I'm going to um, just get going again pretty quickly. I'll press that action key again to get, get the ladder up. And I'm going to use the smart uh, augmented uh, system uh, here from MechJeb um, to help with the launch. Okay, now we we'll press that action button now. Yeah, there we go. This, the ladders are uh, the ladders are folding away. Okay, we've separated and up we go. And then we hit the execute button on the smart ass, and our ascent stage is now pushing our uh, re-entry vehicle up into orbit. As you can see, on the smart ass, <coughs> I. <coughs> I um I can um, adjust the, uh, the the pitch very accurately and just do a gentle uh, pitch adjustment as I'm coming up to the orbital height. I want to come up to about 10 or 11 kilometers above the surface uh, and then circularize my orbit. Uh, I'm not going to do a direct in, um, direct uh, burn out to Kerbin here. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a lunar parking orbit because uh, I'm actually on the wrong side of the moon at the moment to, to do that um, uh, direct descent. So I'm going to have to go around the other side of Mun, the Mun. All right, so we'll just switch off there and we'll circularize. We'll create a node at the apoapsis, that's it. 
and create the node. And there it is. So I think I'll just execute that and auto warp, warp is on. Uh, so as soon as my craft's in position, it will auto warp forward to the manoeuvre node. It's only a short burn to get me into all, but just a few seconds. And yep, yeah, yeah, but still got tons of delta V. So no problems with fuel. And there we go, circularizing the orbit. So now we're in a uh, lunar parking orbit. I can start. Just make sure. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got an altitude of 12 kilometers. It's stable orbit. So now I've got to find, okay, I'll put my maneuver node here and, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go prograde uh, and you can see the purple line over there on the right hand side is showing my, uh, showing what my orbit around Kerbin is. Hang on, that's the wrong way. Uh, got to go the other way. Yeah, so prograde again. No, no, that, that's the wrong way. Okay, back again. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now what I want is I want my periapsis here at Kerbin uh, to be about 50 kilometres. I've worked out uh, that's a good height to come in to, to do an error braking manoeuvre. Um, I don't have enough fuel to, to go into a uh, Kerbin low orbit directly, so I'm going to... I'm just going to use an aero braking maneuver just to um, slow right down into a low curve in orbit. Okay, now I am getting ready. I've, I'm executing this um, this node now, and we're getting into position to do the burn. There's 270 odd um, meters per second of delta V required. I uh, still got plenty of fuel to do that burn. Um, so I'm just going to auto warp around. It's pretty exciting at 12 kilometers above the surface. And we're coming up to the maneuver node. We're, oh, look at that. There's Kerbin. Okay. Oh, that's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, coming up to the, the burn now. And uh, I'm still using my... Um, ascent engines, ascent fuel. Um, you'll see that the engine that I'm using now is actually a reusable engine. It stays with the re-entry craft, uh, so it can be used again and again. Right. See what Jebediah is looking at through his window? He's just looking at stars. Right. Well, very stable. So you're coming up to the end of the burn, and it's pretty important to get this burn right. I don't know what those red squiggly lines are. Anyway, they don't seem to matter. Okay, so periapsis isn't quite right. So let's um let's use SAS to just do a little bit of adjusting. Uh, how do I click on that? Oh no, that's the wrong way. Uh, I've got to go the other way. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of adjusting to get that um, periapsis at um, Kerbin exactly right. I really want it to be 50, no, under 50. Yeah, it needs to be under 50 kilometres. So I'm just going to go back again and just give it another little tweak. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's good. That's perfect. All right, so now we can just auto walk forward. Goodbye, man. Speed up, we'll get out into outside of the Mun's uh, sphere of influence and into Kerbin's SOI. And we're gonna turn on Smart Ass here and um, just get this ready to, um, to do our braking maneuver. Okay, so we'll walk forward down 
towards Kerman. All right, we're near. It's we're at 80 kilometres now, so we're nearly in the in the atmosphere. So let's hit execute on SmartArts, and it will automatically turn uh, the ship around. I've got to, I've got to stage away that uh, ascent engine as well at this point, because otherwise that's going to explode um, when I go into the atmosphere. So we'll get rid of that. And okay, so we're now we're ready. We're actually in the Kerbin's atmosphere now, and we're starting to slow down. I'll just speed us forward a little bit. Now what we can see, look you can see the the apoapsis of my orbit is coming down as the error braking is working. So I'm moving down into a circular orbit. And, I have, and okay it's getting pretty hot. Some of the components are getting a little bit warm as we're doing this error braking maneuver. And you can see in the heads up display on at the top left there um, the apoapsis is coming down uh, all the time as we're doing this error braking maneuver and what I want to do in the end is is adjust this so that um, I uh, I have I end up in a circular orbit uh, I've got a, a bit of fuel and I've got an engine to do some adjusting but I, I don't have a lot of fuel so this has to be a fairly precise maneuver if I find that I'm braking too much, I can actually pitch forward and and I can also pitch back and thereby reduce reduce drag I can, uh, just by changing the angle of the error brake. All right, so look, uh, my apoapsis is under 500 now, 500 kilometres, so it's getting pretty close. What I want to do is I'm going to try and get that down to about 80 kilometres. Um, apoapsis. Okay, just yeah. So we're getting down to about 300 kilometres an hour, and um, yeah, doesn't look like anything's going to explode. That's pretty good. So let's change that pitch to 90. So that's going to increase the aero braking. And what I want to do is I just want to try and get that. Um, apoapsis to 80. As I said, I'll, I'm got, I'll be ready to very quickly pitch forward, um, pitch forward to zero degrees if I start to get close to 80. So we're under 120 now. This is going really well. Okay, so we're nearly circularizing our orbit. Nearly circularizing. Okay. Our altitude's up to 60 now. Okay, we're pretty much there. I'd be pretty happy to be pretty happy to stop it there. No, but it's still going well. It's coming down to 85. The altitude is nearly 70, so nearly outside of the atmosphere. So it's going to stop slowing down very, very soon. Okay, so we're now we're out of the atmosphere. No more slowing down. And my altitude, my apoapsis is 83. So what I'll do is I'll just use the maneuver planner to to create a circular orbit and then execute that. Uh, and it's going to or the reaction wheels are working now. Not the RCS. It's going to bring that around to the right orientation for the burn. And just looking at my resources in the top right, I've got plenty of fuel there, plenty of delta V to make this burn, to circularize my orbit. And once I'm in a stable, um, low Kerbin orbit, um, then I can choose uh, exactly when to re-enter so that I can land at the uh, Kerbin Space Center. Okay. Circularized now at about 83 kilometers altitude. I don't think I need maneuver planner anymore. So, what, but I, what I do need is I need um, to have my landing guidance up again so that I can I can see my little um, blue cross where my landing position is. Uh, and I'm going to use this also. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to set um, 
at marker and, and the KSC pad you can see the red marker there that's where that's where the airstrip is that I'm going to try and land at all right I'm going to warp around to um, a position just above the desert airfield that's a really good spot um, to do my retrograde burn to enter the atmosphere all right so we're coming up to the desert airfield now it's down there somewhere not sure where but yeah, I think I'm in about the right position. So I'm just going to go retrograde, get ready for the burn. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, because I'm showing landing predictions on my um, landing guidance, as I do my retrograde burn, I'll see my blue cross appear. There it is. Uh, and what I want to do is I just want to overshoot the airfield by a bit. Um, the idea in mind that um, when I'm immediately above the airfield I can do a, a really hard aero break and slow right down and then turn around and, and come back and land at the airfield. Uh, that's not what I want. Okay, so we're ready to go. And now I should be using SmartArts to cut, get into position. So now I'm, I'm in a good aero braking po position now with my nose right up actually I'll bring it forward it uh, will I how will I do this let's try it like that anyway and we'll see we'll be able to see on the landing guidance whether our error braking is working okay I'm just using um, the ambient lighting mod so that even though it's night time I can see everything quite clearly on the screen. Okay I'm in the atmosphere now things are starting to heat up um, my nose cone is getting hot and I'm starting to aero break I'm, okay, I'm getting a bit hot there I might just pitch back I don't want that nose cone to explode. Uh, it has happened. So, okay, we can see now we're coming up to the mountains um, that are to the west of the Kevin Space Center. Starting to see some orange flames as we're doing our aero braking. Uh, we're still going at two kilometers per second though, so we've still got a fair bit of air, aero braking to go. But I think it's going well. I think we're gonna eventually slow down just past the airfield which would be good okay we're really decelerating now we've got about 10 meters per second for deceleration so I reckon our oh what's happened here oh we pitched forward that's not what I was expecting right, get that under control going on okay let's get that pitch to zero no 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 minus 10 is better um, okay that's it it's nicely stable that stabilized out I'm still doing 600 meters per second and I'm right over the top of the airfield so now I've got to do is just go past the airfield a bit to get into position I'll just pitch down to about minus 20 or so and that'll keep my speed up Ah, uh, yeah, I've got a bit of fuel in here now, so what I might do is I might just um, burn that off, just to reduce the uh, just to reduce the mass of the craft a bit, make it a little bit easier to to manage. That should be enough. Okay, so now I'm going to do a flip around. I'm going to completely stall out by just going straight down. There we go. That's really slowed me right down. And I'm going to change the heading to 270. When I hit execute, it should spin the craft around. And then I'm going to change my pitch now. Uh, yeah, minus 30, I think it's good. Yeah, minus 30 is good. Uh, okay. So my craft is stabilizing out. As you can see, it, it likes to glide. 
Um, yeah, 40 degrees is, is a pretty steep angle, but as you can see, it's still, it's doing about 180 meters per second, which is reasonable. Okay, just changing, changing the heading a little bit to the right and changing the pitch. Uh, what I've got to do is I've got to aim the craft at the end of the runway, or just before the end of the runway, and then just do a flare just as I'm coming in. Uh, I don't really need to use roll at all. It seems to, the craft seems to respond very well to just gentle pitch changes. Try and slow down a little bit with the with the gear down. Okay, so now we're flaring out at minus 10 pitch angle. We're still slowing down, which is good. What I want to be able to do is land the craft, I suppose, at about 50 meters per second. That would be best. Looks like I'm dead straight on that runway. That's really good. And I'm just going to pitch down a little bit because... Oops, I know I might have overdone that a little bit. I think I might straighten up and pitch back up again. Am I a little short of this runway? Might be a little short. I could always turn the engine on a bit, couldn't I? No, no, no it's alright. Let's do this right. I think I'm right on the money here. Let's, uh, let's adjust a bit to the left. And then back again. Oh, jeez, I'm nearly stalling here. Oh no, 50 metres per second, that's still good. Alright, so I'm going to nose up, and this is really going to wash off some of the speed. I'm under 50 metres per second now. So this is perfect. I'm going to land right on the end of that runway. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect landing. Yeah, okay, well I, I could go all the way down to the KSC, couldn't I, here? And I've got an engine on the back so I can push myself there if I want. Ah, uh, no. I'm pretty happy, I think I'm landed. Let's hit the brakes. Where are the brakes? Um, yeah, the B doesn't work. Yeah, we'll hit the button up there. That'll do it. There we go. I'm there. And just to prove my Kerbin's still happy and alive. Um, who can who can I get to pop out? I'll get uh, yeah I'll get get him to EVA. So there we go. Mission complete.